Thank you for tuning in to the Chicago Live show. I just wanted to have a brief conversation about feminism and how people are subtly putting in things to make people feel ashamed. You know, they're ashamed, going around shaming men for life, really. So I was watching something and they threw out, I was watching a YouTube video and they threw out and the, uh, out of the 12 members of the board of Nike, 10 of them are men. Take that. How does that actually happen? How it happens is five guys get together in high school and become friends. In college, they're still friends. A couple of them come up with an idea and they start a company. One guy knows another guy. He joins and then so forth and so on. And then they join and they form a board and they know a woman and she joins and they know another woman and she joins. That's how that happens. There is no thing where they go around going, okay, only men can join our little club. That's not how it happens. Number two, because there are men does not mean you have a right to shame them for forming a corporation. There's nothing shameful for men forming corporations. And, do you want a handout? You want to get on the board because you're a woman? Is that what you're trying to say? That we need to get on the board because we're women. <laughs> if anybody suggested even suggested that black people do that, what do they say? Oh, you don't deserve the position. You don't deserve, you're a fool, you're ignorant, you're stupid, you're dumb, you can't handle it, you couldn't do it on your own. Well, I put it right back at you. Women, if you're not on the board, you're and you wanna get on the board just because you're a woman, you're stupid, you're dumb, you can't handle it, that's, yeah, tit for tat. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. <laughs> That's not how corporations are formed. They don't go out and say boys only. Why are the two women there? Because they knew them. That's how, that's how corporations are formed. They didn't go out looking for women. Why aren't women forming companies? Because they don't want to. Is that a shock? Is that a surprise? Is that a mystery? Oh, there's, there's no women in the executive because they suck at their job. They don't want to be there. They'd rather be home nursing their children. And that's a good thing. We need more women to nurse their children, to wow. stay at home and bring up the children. The reality of this, of this country is that at least one person has to make the money. The best person for the job is the man in the relationship. Why? Because he's going to work hard, work long hours, do dangerous things to make more money. That's how it goes. Is there a mystery about that? And when you're a woman, and you're a young woman, and you're married to a young man, and you're a young couple, you want to have children. We want you to have children. Okay, I want you to have children. Damn what the NWASO says about overpopulation and all of that lie. Scientists have come out and said that this world could support 50 billion people on it. We haven't even scratched the surface of what this world could offer us. And we're not overpopulated, nor are we draining resources. Do you know that this whole notion of draining resources has been going on since the 1800s? The 1800s. I'm sorry. The 1600s. My bad. The 1600s. They have been saying that we have been depleting the earth. So all of you hippie people listening to me, this has been going on since the 1600s. Right around the corner, uh, it, the world was going to end. Because humans are overpopul overpopulated in the 1600s. I want you to go to 1600 and look up what was the world population. And they were scared then. They weren't scared. They were putting out fear then that we were overpopulated. Black people, I want you to get married and have children. Step one, get married. Step two, have children. And I want you to have, and for the black man, I want you to have, make enough money in your business that you should be owning. I don't care if you have to go in the corner and sell oranges. Do you know what? Selling oranges on the corner will probably make you more than uh, a little bit over minimum wage. How about that one? So uh, this entire argument about minimum wage is stupid. Owning a business, I don't care what it is. You know what? You could go order stuff on Alibaba from China 
pennies on the dollar, go to a person who owns a clothing store, ask to rent out space inside of their clothing store, and, and take a percentage of the commission from selling your wares in their clothing store. You can do it. You, you didn't know that it could happen? So you could literally own the business inside of somebody else's business who's actually renting the space to somebody. I mean, yeah, it's called leasing and leasing and subleasing and all that sort of stuff, right? So the man owns a business, black man owns a business, black woman stays home and raises the children. The best person for the job to be outside of the home is the man. He doesn't have to sit up pregnant. Reality. That's the reality of the situation. We keep trying to redo reality. Finally, again, there is no need to shame men for building industry, creating jobs, creating businesses, creating corporations. The reason the women aren't there is that they didn't want to be there. They were the girlfriend. They were the wife. That's it. They weren't engineers. A lot of these guys are engineers. A lot of these members of the boards, people who form the corporation, investors, the people who is the CEO, engineer, financier, CFO, COO. That's how it, that's how it goes. Nobody asked them to form a corporation. Nobody begged them to form a corporation. They got off of their behind and formed a corporation or formed a business, started a business. That's how it works. <laughs> So stop your subtle shaming of men being men and creating industry. And for the rest of you, I want you to call out these people when they do stuff like that. There's, there's 10 out of 12 men on the board. And you want a handout? You want to fire half of them? Is that wow. what you want? Because that's what that seems to be suggest, seems to be the suggestion. You want to fire half of the board and, um, and stuff them in there with women. And where, where are you going to get these women? from other boards so they're going to sit on more than one board so then what you're saying is this other corporation where these women sat is going to suffer because now the, the woman can't dedicate herself to the actual corporation and trying to move, move it forward in the future because that's what happened members of the board don't just sit there they don't just look pretty they have to actually know something right Sometimes you're invited to the board because you can offer something that the corporation needs. The woman on Shark Tank, she's a member of the board. She has a percentage of the company because she can offer something to the corporation, to the company, to the business. That's why she's there. That's why the other people are there. They can offer something to, it's not just that they're investors. They're valued investors. You need to look it up. So feminism, go kill yourself. Please, it needs to die. It's over. You're done. People and I want everybody to call out your crap. You're no good for women. You're not doing any good. And you're no good for humanity. Let's get down to that. You're not good for humanity. You really need to die off. I already, I already figured out your little game and I already figured out who's controlling you. You're not even in control of your own little agenda. You're being controlled. You're being used. And in turn, you're turning around and using women to their own detriment. You're not good for humanity. Please die out. Please stop it. Go away. Get with the program. Learn about humanity. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.